Another view from the International uh, Space Station, and this was recorded earlier this morning, Queensland time. In this update, we'll be looking at what's on the uh, weather radar in the South Pacific region where the main focus is on the deepening tropical cyclone Gita, which at this point in time remains a Cat 3 but is heading towards a Cat 4 status. For Sunday the 11th of February, welcome to another update by the Force of 13, Australia, Oceania Channel. And you can note the time and date stamp, top left hand side of the screen. Severe tropical cyclone Gita, central pressure 954 millibar was located near 19 decimal 2 degrees south, 168 decimal 5 degrees west. She's currently moving south at about 8 knots, maximum 10 minute average winds near the centre, estimated at about 80 knots, and this will change. Psychonic circulation extends up to 300 millibars. Sea surface temperature is around 29 degrees Celsius, Celsius, but in some places it could be one or two degrees higher. System lies under moderate to strong upper divergence region with good outflow to the north and southeast but restricted elsewhere. Unfortunately I can't bring the wind shear as the model is updating. Tropical cyclone alert is now in force for Ono I Lu. Apology for the pronunciation but I had to give it a try. Close to its centre, the cyclone is expected to have average winds up to 150 kilometres an hour with gusts to 205 kilometres an hour. The cyclone is expected to curve west towards southern Lau on this track. I know I didn't get that uh, pronunciation right, but Nikita is starting to change uh, direction. Cyclone Center is expected to be located about 770 kilometers east of Onailu at 6 a.m. Monday. Now here's the current track on Gita via the Fiji Met Office. And they have a remaining cat free, but a cat 5 uh, system can't be uh, completely ruled out. And don't forget, yesterday the Fiji did have a cat 4 on one of its uh, charts. But we do know that it is curving and has slowed. Here's the latest Joy Typhoon Warning Centre's uh, track and the cone of uncertainty is gradually creeping up the country of New Caledonia. We will continue to bring updated information when it becomes available and Nathan is uh, giving uh, consideration to increasing the frequency of 
the updates. This is a look at the uh, Joy Typhoon Warning Center's image. We also have a uh, tropical storm in uh, the Westpac heading uh, towards the Philippines. Now some of this cloud could be uh, related to what's uh, taking place in the, uh, the Pacific. Now this is a look at the EPS track guidance. There is a considerable amount of discrepancy amongst all the models and this is the current view of the NOAA floaters. And Gita has developed a eye and from uh, looking at the floaters you can clearly see and the system is curving. I think it might have had a bit of a wobble. We know that it was uh, tracking south, but it's now south, southwest or southwest, but it is to adopt a westerly track. And not forgetting that we've got a weak low pressure system, 1,007 minibars uh, near the, the southwestern corner of Papua New Guinea. That's uh, Invest 99P. And I think uh, 98p might be in a, a bit of a struggle with uh, Gita. Now this is a look at the Himawari 8 satellite view, southwestern uh, Pacific, focusing on two areas of interest starting with Gita and there's a convergent zone to the south southwest of where Gita is located slightly to the southeast of Norfolk Island. You can actually see the uh, rotation I think it actually has a little bit closer to New Zealand's North Island. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13 at extension 9094.